Hi, my name is Mu'min al Masri. I'm a PhD candidate at Texas Tech University. I'm here to talk to you about part of my dissertation project that you can read about at M Systems. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mu'min.ilmasri.ttu.edu. As trauma patients get hospitalized and due to their critical injuries, they are more likely to get infected by different pathogens. One of the leading pathogens in trauma patients is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So the monocerginosa colonizes the patient's wounds and infiltrate into the bloodstream, causing bloodstream infection or bacteremia, and later on what's called sepsis, during which the host tries to aggressively fight back the pathogen, causing damage to itself as well. Sepsis caused by pseudomonocerginosa is often fatal, thus it's very important to understand its pathogenesis, however this area of research is lacking. Uh, and we don't completely understand how Pseudomonas aeruginosa reacts to the blood environment during sepsis. Therefore, we choose this area of research uh, to be our focus, which we tackled by a novel approach uh, in which we obtain blood samples, whole blood samples from trauma patients and also from healthy volunteers as control. Then we use these blood samples to grow Pseudomonas aeruginosa to simulate what happens in the patients but in vitro. Then we used uh, RNA sequencing technology to investigate Pseudomonas aeruginosa's response to such environment to understand what it sees and how it regulates its gene expression for survival in that condition. We noticed that Pseudomonas aeruginosa changed the expression of only 5% of, it, of its transcript home after growth in blood from trauma patients in comparison to its growth from uh, blood in healthy, from healthy volunteers. These changes or adaptations that seemed important to Pseudomonas aeruginosa included changes in the metabolism of different carbon sources such as malonate and mannitol, and the metabolism of amino acids as well, and the efflux of heavy metals, and the production of secondary metabolites that Pseudomonas aeruginosa uses to obtain iron from the environment that's called spherophores. This knowledge is vital for understanding the strategies that this pathogen uses to adapt and survive within the host during systemic infections. And we hope it will help other researchers and clinicians to develop new approaches for treatment of sepsis caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa in trauma patients by targeting the important systems that we have identified in this study.